Hey guys. All right, so another episode of Mental Fitness Domination. Sorry, it's a little dark. Right here, you can see this pool. What I'm gonna touch up right now is hydro contrast therapy. I'm gonna take you guys down there. It's a little bit more light. Third story. I gotta climb the stairs just to get home. So, basically, what hydro contrast therapy is is uh, it is a form of therapy that you use cold and hot water. Ideal temperatures are 50 degrees for the cold and 100 degrees for the hot. Pretty easy numbers to remember. Obviously you can drop those. You really don't want to like get any hotter than 50 degrees. You really want to get any colder than 100 degrees. So I kind of get a good setup here. Oh, it's already open. I, I kind of get a good setup here because at my apartment, I live in the back. So this back pool, as you can see, very nice. Um, it's not heated and not too many people use it. So I kind of get it to myself. But as a winter time, I'm in Arizona. So if you're not familiar with Arizona, we get like a couple months of extremely hot weather, a couple months of pretty pleasant weather and a couple months of really cold weather. But I'd probably say over here, like 60% of the time, the water is, the water in this pool is like 50 degrees. Sometimes it'll drop like to like 48 or 47, which doesn't seem like that much of a difference, but it really is when you're in there. And, but in the summertime, it gets up to like, like 75 or 80 degrees or like 70 degrees or something it gets pretty hot and a lot of people are out here and they have to clean it like every week and shut it down because people are weird and they gotta like swim in here with like 20 people at a time so be the beast when no one's around and deal with the pain man that that cold water it it, it slows down the aging process it boosts testosterone it, uh, it'll, it'll improve your sex drive it boosts your immune system there's so many wonders behind it it reduces inflammation um, obviously the hot water will relax, will relax a lot of tension, but, um, when you're physically active and you're doing a lot, man, this cold water will be tremendous or do have, give tremendous results, I should say. So anyways, I don't have my thermometer with me, but this water right here, I jumped in it today is about, and usually there's a waterfall going, so it's pretty nice, but it's late night, so they shut it down. This water will be, it's like right now it's like 52 degrees. But because um, it's starting to get warm out here, but I think I'll be good for a couple more weeks. But um, usually about 50 degrees. I'll jump in there for a couple minutes, and then over here I have the hot tub. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Probably can't see it, but basically here's the here's the pole. You guys can hear it. But there's a hot tub right there. So uh, I'll keep right here. So, so the hot tub, or say the, the way, the best way to go about it when you're trying to just be just constant with it and to actually get the best result from the, from hydro contrast therapy is you want to start with the cold water, jump in there for about a minute, sit in the hot water for about three minutes and then repeat that two or three times. What I like to do is I like to fin I like to start and finish with the cold water. So afterwards I'll jump in the cold water and just do a quick dip just to kind of get it going. So what happens is. If you can do this after a workout, best time to do it. I have actually noticed that when I did it every day after my workout, it would actually improve my strength the next day. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll jump in. When you jump in that cold water, all your blood will, will leave your extremities and go to your vital organs. Um, hence, that's where you start to reduce inflammation. Then when you go to the hot water, it flushes all that body out. So it's kind of like refreshing your blood in a sense. I'm gonna make another video where I dig into the scientific explanation with this and give you guys links. Uh, this is just a kind of introduction to it, but that's pretty much it. Now what I did today, because my first day off of my job, if you guys watch any of my other videos, it's extremely physical for about 10 to 12 hours. I'm just running around and throwing cases around. It, this sucks. And uh, it's it's three days, so my, my first day off, my body ex is exhausted and I'm still working out before I go to work. So you can just imagine the stress I'm putting on my body. So I notice it's hard because I'm really, really tired, but I'll get in this cold water. And today I sat in there, man, for like five, 10 minutes. 
and I just let it I just let it do its thing so you kind of go with the feel um, you don't want to go too long I mean I've, when it's winter time this pool gets really really cold like 40 degrees and if you sit in there for like 10 minutes man you'll start getting you know getting the shivers and there was one time I stayed there so long I actually was shaking all day long and I had to keep jumping in a hot shower so you really got to build yourself up to it I would, I would look into some guy on YouTube his name is Iceman and he is <clears throat> I, I, I think he's in I don't know what part of the country is in some something like Iceland or Greenland or Germany or some weird shit but uh, this dude um, his life is dedicated to um, introducing exposing yourself to really really cold temperatures and how he's actually able to control his adrenaline through controlling like the pain within the cold water uh, there's a lot more to it than that but it's pretty much it man don't overthink it just get in that cold water now if you guys don't have this because I'm not gonna have this forever um, my my apartment only has one bathroom at least take an ice bath if you can at least do an ice bath um, that that'll help too. the ice bath is probably one of the best things you can do this is cool as a pool so I can kind of move around and stuff I'm not just laying down in the bathtub because I'm kind of tall so my bathtub doesn't really let me stretch out um, they have facilities for stuff like this uh, if you can't you know it ends up being pretty costly so if you can't afford it just be creative a cold shower man a cold shower will do it too. If you can do a cold shower, you'd want to stay in there longer because you're probably not going to get it down to like 50 or 40 degrees. But I've even done hydro contrast with the cold shower and then I turn it up to really hot. And uh, it's not as good as submerging yourself, but it does, it does get the job done. So there's many ways to do it. I even went to the point where I had an ice bath up top in the bathtub and then I'm on the third floor third story so I would once I do the ice bath I'd run down here to the hot tub and I'd jump in and I did that three four times people look at you weird but who gives a shit man let them look uh, it, it helps it really does help um, also if you're starting to feel real tense and um, really exhausted physically that's the best time to do an ice bath the first time you do it it's gonna be the most excruciating thing you've ever experienced but like the second or third time it'll be a lot better also ice water when you have an injury ankle wrist shoulder whatever you know like when they do the ice packs if you can submerge it it's the best i think they have a uh, cryotherapy or yeah i think it's cryotherapy and um there's facilities where they actually isolate it with the with the liquid nitrogen i think it's liquid nitrogen or light shit but anyways hydro contrast therapy man if uh if you want to keep it simple just do the just do the the cold cold ass water but if you can do the cold and hot it has extra added benefits to it. So I go, hope you guys like this piece of advice. Um, definitely, it's probably one of the best things you guys can do. If you research all your top athletes, I mean, even like Brock Lesnar and stuff, they do this type of shit after every workout. Uh, so it's not, just, it's not just me saying it. It's something that will actually really help your guys' results, and it will increase your strength. I've noticed a big difference between an ice bath and actual hydro contrast therapy. So again, the difference is introduce ice bath is just extreme cold temperatures you know 10 to 15 minutes maybe 20 and um, but you got to build a tolerance to it and hydro contrast is is exposing yourself to extreme cold temperatures and then immediately to extreme uh, to extreme hot temperatures 50 degrees cold 100 degrees hot keep it simple guys tell me what you think